ChemGuess is designed to generate safety data sheets fully automatically and without additional input. Of course, it is still possible to easily change the contents of the SDS. Therefore, if you have automatic updates for the SDS activated, always change the substance data, not the SDS, because the substance data is transferred to the SDS and not the other way around. We definitely recommend activating the automatic updates for the safety data sheet. This way you can be certain that your safety data sheets are always up to date. We will refer to the settings for the SDS several times throughout this video. These settings can be found here. To open a safety data sheet, click on the corresponding key or press F8. First you will be asked for which country you want to create the SDS. The last used country will be suggested. In principle, it does not matter which country you choose first, as where possible information is automatically transferred to every other country SDS. In contrast, country-specific information is calculated by ChemGuess for each country, or derived from other information. In the previously mentioned options, you can also specify whether you would like the option to copy an already existing SDS, whenever you create a new one. Please note that the SDS is now complete and can be printed. It is at your own discretion, if, and how much you want to change in the SDS. At the top, you will first see the most important printer settings. You can click directly on the printer name to change the printer. You can turn print preview on and off, switch between paper and PDF printers, and, if you have enabled the DRPDF printer, change all settings for it as well. In the center you will see two buttons that indicate whether the SDS is locked completely or only for automatic updates. On the right side you can see the version number, which you can also change. At the bottom you will then see several rows with available function keys. Note that usually more than the displayed function keys can be available. The remaining function keys can then be found in the menu line under the additional functions. On the right side, you can see the individual section numbers. Clicking on one of these buttons will take you directly to the desired section. The X is only displayed if the exposure scenario is activated for this substance. As a shortcut, you can also simply select the digit of the desired section on the keyboard. Pressing the 8 key will take you to section 8. Since there are 16 sections but only 10 digits, Pressing the corresponding key will always take you to the next section with the corresponding end digit. Since we are already in section 8, clicking on digit 3 will take us to section 13 and clicking on it again, will take us back to section 3. There are also some function keys that make it easy to navigate through the SDS. Pressing the home key will take you back to the top of the page, pressing it again, will take you to the top of the SDS. The end key works the same way. The first time it is pressed takes you to the end of the page, the second time takes you to the end of the SDS. Page up and page down are for scrolling forward and backward. Control page up and control page down are used to switch between sections. There are several icons that show you the status of each line. The leftmost column indicates what type of heading it is. If this is empty, it means that a text under this heading is not required. One checkmark indicates that the heading must contain a text, but filler texts such as not known or similar are permitted. Two checkmarks mean that the heading must be filled in with a meaningful text. In this case it is not enough to say that you do not know the information. Before printing. ChemGuess checks whether all headings with check marks are filled in and does not allow printing if necessary information is missing. The second column contains information regarding the type of content. For headings, there is either input allowed or input is not allowed, where prohibiting input only makes sense if there are subheadings. Phrases from the phrase catalog are ready made text modules. If they come from DR software, they are already translated into all purchased languages. Tables created automatically by the system are text blocks that are created independently from the information stored for the respective substance. 
These include classifications, tables with tox values, exposure limits and substance listings. In cases where translations are not necessary, you can also create manual texts. A distinction is made as to whether these should only apply to the respective country or whether this text should be language independent. A language independent text would be, for example, a storage temperature, a country dependent text, a text that refers to a local legislation. It is recommended to use manual texts only if they are used once or rarely. Recurring texts should be included in the phrase catalog. It should not go unmentioned that the system also automatically creates this type of text if it is only needed once per safety data sheet. Examples are the product name and the product code. You will also have noticed that in most cases the main heading is displayed on a blue background, but in some cases the background is shown in red. The red background indicates that ChemGuess has determined that the content of this main heading has changed. The information that the SDS has changed is then output in section 16. No information was determined or entered for headings that are displayed in gray. These headings are then omitted from the printout. Most of the texts you see in the SDS are from the phrase library. The phrase library consists of several thousand pre-translated headings and phrases. There are two methods of inserting a new phrase. The easiest method is to go to the place where you want to place the phrase and press the insert key. In the overview that then appears, there are all the phrases that exist for the respective heading. Phrases that have already been selected are color marked. If you now click on a phrase with the left mouse button, it will be adopted immediately. If it was already in the SDS, it will be deleted from it. With the right mouse button you can activate or deactivate several phrases without having to call up the overview each time. The second method of inserting phrases is recommended when there are a lot of phrases for a heading. To call it up, press Ctrl I. After that, you can enter one or more search terms, and the program will display all matching results. Deleting a line is done simply by pressing the delete button. Note that if you delete a phrase that has automatically appeared in the SDS due to the conditions, it will reappear after the next update of the SDS. This principle also applies to the manual insertion of phrases that have conditions and would not normally appear in the SDS due to these conditions. To avoid this, please disable automatic updates. You can easily insert a manual text by pressing enter or the right arrow on a heading. If you want this text to be language independent, press alt enter. However, the enter key is still used when you want to change tables as well as physical or transport values. So just go to one of the tables available in the SDS and press enter or double click on it. You can then either add a new substance or change the existing information about a substance. If a substance is added, it is immediately filled with all existing values from the ChemGuess database. The situation is similar for threshold limit and toxicological values as well as for substance listings. For the most important physical and transport data, the enter key takes you to an input window to allow somewhat easier entry of this data. However, we would like to point out again that all these data should be changed in the substance itself and not in the safety data sheet. The substance is the basis for all generated forms such as labels and safety data sheets. If a piece of information is only changed in the SDS, then this has no influence on the rest of the outputs. Some SDS phrases as well as P phrases contain placeholders which can only be filled within the SDS. Normally it should not happen that a P phrase which contains a placeholder is present in the SDS, because predefined versions of the P phrases are provided by ChemGuess for this purpose. The missing information must be entered, otherwise the SDS is locked for output. Normally, the SDS is already complete when it is created. 
If you want to check this, then press the F7 key. If the SDS is not complete, then the place where the problem was detected is marked. Add the required information and press F7 again to either move to the next error or to receive a message that the SDS is complete. If you want to print an SDS, this check is performed automatically. To print an SDS, press F10. If the print preview is activated, you can see immediately on the screen how the output will look. On the right side you will see a number of buttons that allow resizing this preview. We would like to point out once again that this entire SDS was generated without manual intervention, so alterations are unnecessary under normal circumstances. In ChemGuess it is possible to assign safety data sheets directly to customers and to send them by email. To do this, simply press F9 instead of F10, select a customer or create a new one, and either print the SDS or send the email. Please note that, as in any other program, the system settings for sending emails must have been made. Up to three email addresses can be entered, to which an email will be sent simultaneously. You can also predefine a language-dependent cover letter that will be included in the email. Whether you print or send an email, the current date is saved either way. With this data, it is then possible to query at any time which safety data sheets were sent to which customer and when. If you have not set the automatic updates for the SDS or have set them only partially, you can have the SDS recalculated at any time. For a complete recalculation press F1. Select what you want to calculate and start the update. So, that you do not have to make the selection again and again, ChemGuess remembers the last settings. If you want to calculate only the phrases of the current section, you can do it by pressing Alt F7. Even though ChemGuess can do this automatically, sometimes you want to manually change the version number, date of SDS creation or date of last change. This is also possible by simply pressing Ctrl F8. If you want to access the SDS version of another country, press Alt F3, select the new country and the SDS for this other country is ready and can be printed immediately. It is possible to go directly from the edit mode of the SDS to the maintenance of the headings and the phrases to make changes in the wording, to create new texts, or to change conditions. It is beyond the scope of this video to explain all these options. As already explained, ChemGuess automatically marks the sections where changes have been detected. You can override these markings at any time. There are other function keys that are used rather rarely and can be used without further explanation. It is only important that you know that this functionality is available if it should be needed. In this way, you can delete individual country versions, copy manual texts from SDSs of other substances, insert symbols into the SDS, create a phrase for the phrase catalog from a manual text, or even insert additional headings that were not added to the SDS in order to avoid overwhelming complexity. Always remember. Pay attention to the buttons that are active to see what functions are available to you.